Hi, this is James from Responsive Developer. Today I'm just going to take you through how to use Blend for Web uh, to make a simple cube and UV project. As you can see, I've got a simple cube in the web browser created uh, in Blender and then exported using the Blend for Web uh, Python plugin. So it's just a simple cube uh, with some different colors on there. Uh, just to demonstrate uh, texturing using UV for this particular plugin. So what I've used for this plugin is GIMP, Blender, and the Blend for Web plugin for Blender. So first of all, we go to our, our scene, and I'll just talk you through what I've done to get this. So basically, we've got a... A default cube in there nothing special just a, a default cube then I've gone to um, the UV shading editor and I've basically marked seam on there so what that means is I've basically separated this object into a logical format um, so that I can texture it and as you can see on the 3d view um, the red line is where the seam is and the normal shaded uh, edges are where the UV seam is not so to create this is quite simple um, you select the seam and you hold down the shift key and right button click where you want to mark the seam like so as you can see in the bottom window in the uv image editor you can see my seam runs the out around the outside and these adjoining faces where the seam isn't so once you've got them marked you click the mark seam button and then you select all of the faces using the A key. Then go to unwrap and it will unwrap uh, below in the image editor like so. Okay, I'll just remove that image so you can see better. Um, so once we've got our faces unwrapped, um, really cool function in Blender. Um, you can use UVs, export UV layout. So what this does is it exports the UV layout in the form of a, a PNG. So I've just called it Cube UV PNG um, for ease. And I'm just going to save that to my desktop. So export. Right, the next step is to get GIMP open. As you can see, um, this is the colored version. And what I'm going to do is actually I'll just close that one so that we can show you from scratch. I'm just going to open up our UV layout with GIMP. As you can see, um, it's transparented um, with a slight opacity, the different faces. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to very simply fill each block with a color so that you can see how it applies it to the model. So click fill, bu fill up the fill bucket and select a color so i'm going to use purple for that one use a slightly gray color for that one green color for this one um, i'm just going to run through these really quickly orange color for that one and what if we not use the blue one for there and we'll use this red one for the last one so what you want to do now is save that file um, so i'm going to export it as and I'm going to give it a different name because I want to keep my original UV face layout uh, just in case I've messed up somewhere. I can go back to it quickly. It's always nice to have a master master copy about. Um, so I'm going to call this one cube under uh, dash UV dash color PNG. And I'm going to export it. Of course, I've, I've done this before, so I'm just going to overwrite that file. Minimize that. Go back to Blender. Uh, at the bottom here, you'll see there's a uh, new and open buttons for your image. Um, I've already got one in there, um, but I'm going to re
reload the image that I've just saved, which is cube UV color PNG. Open the image. In theory, yeah, there we go. So it's now open, and our UV image is nicely colored into the the uh, UV image editor. So I'm just going to click rendered just to double check that it's loaded through. Now, this might not happen straight away. Um, it's because of the mapping coordinates. It may end up looking like that to begin with. Um, and as one of the blend for web um, tutorial people uh, pointed out that it should not be generated it should be assigned as an UV project and then you'll get the, the actual colors uh, showing on the screen as as you want them so there you go um, for this scene I've just taken a light, duplicated it, and then put it across the diagonal for effect. Um, so there's four lights, two above, two below. Um, there's no real accuracy there. Um, I literally just threw them in. So going back to our object, um, we also need to uh, make sure that the color is a UV project in options. And that should be about it. So then we now go to export, export blend for web, and it's cube UV HTML. And we'll just click on export. And that's that done. And I'm just going to reload it in the browser. And there we go. One colored cube using the UVs. Uh, with blend for web i hope this has been helpful please rate and subscribe if you've got any problems issues or or questions just ask and i'll try and make a video for you thank you